Hey guys, today we're going to look at row numbering based on IDs. And we have four different kinds. Row number, rank, dense rank, and row number by group. So let's look at that. We have this table where we want to add the different kinds of numbering. And the first one is row number. And we can do that by add column and index column here and start it from one. Now we get an index column and we call this row number. And if we want the column to start at, for example, two and have incremental values of two, we can just adjust these values and we get the result here, as you can see. But in this case, we will stick to one and one. Now we need to add the rank function and to add the rank function, we need to use the function group by and we have to group it by IDs and we need the advanced, func advanced function. And to get the rank, we need the minima of, minimum of the row number. So we add this. And then we need to add all the rows because we need our data from our original table. So we add table and all the rows. And now we have the ID, the rank, and all our data, as you can see down here. The next thing is to add our dense rank. And to do that, we add a column and we put an index column and put it, set it to one. And we have our dense rank function here. Lastly, we need to expand the data here. Without the ID, we already have that value. And we get our data with all the rankings. The only thing missing now is a row number by group. And to get that function, we need a custom column where we take the row number and minus the rank and plus one. And we call this row number by group. And we can just put this as a number maybe. And now we have all the different kinds of number ordering that are quite normal in most systems. In Power BI, we have to do, do them a bit more manually, but it works. And yeah, that pretty much solves our problems with number ordering in Power BI.